Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you're well today. I hope you're well. Uh, we are going to talk about the Duchess of Diva today, folks. Uh, we are <laughs> That is going to be our, our uh, namesake <laughs> for, for this episode. Let that be known. The Duchess of Diva. I mean, I'm surprised I haven't heard that already. I'm just going to tell you that. I'm surprised. <laughs> um, I'm surprised no one's jumped on that already, folks. Must be an Australian thing. Uh, let that be known. Cheers. Friday it is. Friday it is. We're gonna. It's an honorary Duchess of Diva Day today. We're going to be investigating how the Duchess of Diva feels uh, now about it because, uh, well, I mean, what can I say? It, it's... It's very interesting now that uh, there are, you know, people of weight on the podcast, let's say. I mean, you know, Mariah Carey is not a lightweight, folks. She's a, you know, Serena Williams isn't a lightweight. They are heavyweight, successful people. They are very, very ultra successful people in their field. There's just no doubt about it. I mean, hello, folks. Hello. So, you know, isn't that interesting? Now, I, I have to say it's pretty ballsy of Megan to have these people on the podcast because I mean they could throw you know I mean they could throw a real dig at them even you know I mean a little bit of a comment here and there I mean you could literally get someone on there and, I, and I'm going to ask the question here of the audience how many people are we going to get on the podcast until one of them seriously chews out Megan Markle uh, how long are we going to get to, you know, how long are we going to have to wait until a serious guest chews out Meghan Markle? Can you imagine? Because, look, we've got Serena Williams. We've got Mariah Carey. Uh, okay, so who's guest number three? Who's guest number three? Does anyone know? Imagine if she had uh, Cardi B on the podcast or Nicki Minaj. Can you imagine Nicki Minaj or Cardi B in the way that they would chew out Meghan Markle? Can you, can you imagine? Uh, I think that would be... Unbelievable. That'd be some serious editing to make that go away, I'd say. Uh, let it be known. Imagine Joe Rogan. You're watching Joe Rogan, uh, the Joe Rogan experience, and then you just miss like half hour of the <laughs> Half hour, they just like chop out. <laughs> Sorry, can't see that. Uh, let it be known. So let's let's have a look and see how Megan reacted to be calling a, uh, a diva, let's say. A diva. The Duchess of Diva. <laughs> she wasn't called the Duchess of Diva. That's... <laughs> Not yet. Not yet, folks. <laughs> the Duchess of Diva. Come on. Why hasn't anyone brought this up, folks? This is this is next level. Come on. The Duchess of Diva. This is... Uh, I was expecting it. Lady C, no. Uh, River, no. Bombed. Didn't say it. He didn't He didn't drop the Duchess of Diva. And if, look, if anyone's dropped it, then let it be known in the comments. I'll honor it. It's. I'll pay it. I'll pay it. No problems. So let's find out here. Uh, let's find out who else. Who else do we listen to? Uh, anyone else in the comments? We've got some. Surely someone has dropped Duchess of Diva somewhere. I haven't seen it, but yeah. I mean, what, what, what's what has everyone been doing, folks? What has everyone been doing? How did Megan react? Let's find out. Who's listening to Lady C these days? I must admit, I haven't listened for a little while. So if you're listening. Let it be known in the comments. Let it be known. Cards are hot. Queen of Wands. Should we call... Okay, today we're going to call this the Diva of Wands. Folks, the Diva of Wands. Nine of Coins... The world, oh, okay, here we go. Six of coins and the two of wands, the page of wands. That is interesting. And the two of cups. Oh, how am I going to interpret that? Uh, well, I know how I'm going to interpret it. Um, let's say that interesting, interesting cards. It's, you know, okay, so I think... There's a perception here that they're, Megan and Mariah Carey are on the same level here. They're sort of partners, if you like. They're, they're, they're sharing, let's say, a moment together. Let's say a moment. They're sharing a moment. And they're on the same level. We've got a, we do have a Diva of Wands here. We have a Nine of 
coins, which speaks to... Someone actually said in the comments, we talked about the Knight of Coins very recently because it did come up. Now, where on earth... Talking about the comments, I want to give a shout out to... I want to give a shout out to... Uh, do, 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 do. I want to give a shout out to Jane for the super thanks. Big thank you and a big thank you and a big, a big super thank you. So you've given me a super thank you. I'm giving you a super thank you, Jane. I really appreciate your uh, generous donation and I'm very humbled. Thank you very much. Uh, so I, was, I have been looking through the comments and I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find, there was a comment made about this card, the nine of, aggrandizing, aggrandizement. That's that's someone who used this word to describe some of its, you know, on, on one side of the spectrum of meaning of this particular card. I thought that was really interesting. So aggrandizing. Yes, this is true. It's about, it's about someone's, you know, abundance and it's about, you know, their, it's about the, the things that they have and, you know, all of the treasures and all the rest of it. So yes, aggrandizement does come in there a little bit. It's, you know, these cards here aren't necessarily bad cards. There's no real bad vibes here. It's kind of, you know, Mariah Carey's just sort of... It's almost, you know, the way... We're looking at a, a Megan's reaction here. It's almost she's been fed by this comment a little bit. Which is interesting, isn't it? It's almost... I think the way it's being looked at... There's two partnership cards here. The Two of Cups and the Two of, two of Wands. You can call a partnership card. Because uh, it's a two, right? And there's, it's almost like, you know, you've got someone, not a friend, but someone you're sharing a, a moment with, probably in this instance, not friendly as such, but, you know, someone on your level, you sort of, you know, of your level of society, I guess, and they've sort of given you a, a compliment almost. She's, I, I think the reality is, is Megan has taken this to me to be a compliment, which, uh, or at least taken it to sort of, you know, bolster herself with, let's say. I think that's kind of the key to this, given these cards. There is one card I'm going to, I'm going to mention here, and it's the Page of Wands. I find this very interesting. Now, I'm going to clear this away to make it more, uh, let's say, accessible. Now, we've got a partnership energy, which we've described with the Two of Wands uh, and also the Two of Cups. Okay, so we have this energy here. We'll leave those cards. Now, we also have... You know, who's the Page of Wands and who's the Queen of Wands? Who is the, who serves who here? That's the question I want to ask the audience. It's very peculiar to see a Page of Wands because who the, who's the Page of Wands in this particular, you know, in this, in this spread? Who is it? Who are we talking about? Is the Page of Wands, does Megan think she's the Page of Wands? Uh, I, I would think it's fair to say that the answer is no to that. So there's a dynamic here of, you know, someone of high esteem and someone that serves the other. Uh, interesting. I don't know how else to interpret this card here, the, the page, except through that meaning, which is, I think, interesting. And I think the audience may find that an interesting sort of facet of this particular reading. So let it be known who your favorite Duchess is in the comments. <laughs> the Duchess of Diva. The Duchess of Diva. That would be a great name for a podcast, honestly. That would be an absolutely fantastic name for a for a you know for a podcast. I'm I'm gonna tell you right now, hundred percent, no doubt about it. If you have a question for a future video, let it be known in the comments, and I will see you in the comment section.